Okay, no fancy intro today, straight into it. Here are five new features that I just noticed in Asana either this week or in the last couple of weeks. Firstly, just the other day, we got a new compact inbox. So before, and actually for the entire time I've been using Asana since 2012, this is the uh, more detailed inbox view that I've been used to. You've got quite big notifications, you click on it, you've got the task on the right hand side. Now you have an option to change the density to compact. And I am running with this new um, compact density straight away. I personally really like the more compact view because you can see more notifications on the screen at once. Kind of feels less overwhelming to me. Um, similar, you can click on a notification, you can bring up the task, respond, and the best practice here, as I've said in many videos, make sure you archive your notifications. Once you've responded, once you've read a notification, make sure you archive it so it's out of your inbox. You can always still um, view those notifications in the archive section, which again, you can view in compact mode. Okay, number two is AI project overviews. I was recording a video about AI the other day, which is coming out soon. And when I was in my, on the project overview, I noticed there is a new AI summary. So here's one that I generated earlier, but if you go to a project where you have not got a summary, go to an overview, you'll see the um, AI summary options at the top. You can choose to get a, a summary with recent activity and a risk report, which is quite nice. And turn on, you can get regular updates uh, and then generate the summary. Now it takes a minute or two to generate. You can leave this screen and then you will be notified in your inbox when the summary is ready. Here's one that I prepared earlier. And this is really nice because number one, I don't have to bother my team. I don't have to ask, hey, how's this project going? Asana's AI can just look at the tasks that have been completed, whether due dates have been postponed, and it gives you a really nice summary. It also links you to those tasks and to the people on your team so you can dig in and find out what's going on. From here, you can copy this summary. You can create a task from it if you want to assign that to somebody as a task. Or what I think is gonna be most useful is using these summaries to draft status updates. So you can um, get your update going. You can obviously edit this, tweak it as needed, but that's gonna save time um, so you're not having to uh, write those from scratch. Number three is there is a new way you can create rules in your projects using an AI prompt. So now if I go to the customize menu in my project and go to rules and then add a new rule, you still have the option to start a rule from scratch with this button or you can now type in a prompt. So I can say, when the status field changes to ready to publish, publish, post a comment on the task and change the assignee to at John, and I can at mention people on my team, and I can then provide that prompt. Asana is now gonna take a minute to create that rule for me. And there we go, you can see my trigger has been created, my check to check the status section, and my actions to post the comment and set the assignee. So if you've never used rules before or you're just not too comfortable with them, this allows you to get started much quicker. You can then come in and make any additional edits or changes if you want to add or change any of the actions. But if you're happy, you can publish and away you go. Number four is you can now quickly update a member's permission and make them an admin directly from the members page. So if you go to one of your teams and go to the members tab at the top, you now have a little drop down here you can use to quickly toggle someone between a normal member and a team admin. And number five is compact goals. So similar to the inbox, now if you go to your goals, you'll see rather than the big expanded goal page like we had before, you can now see uh, the compact goals. It's gonna make it a lot easier to, to see all of your goals on one screen, especially if you have a lot of them. I, again, um, prefer these kind of compact layouts. I like being able to see more information on the screen at once. So those were five updates to Asana that came out this week or in the last couple of weeks. Let me know if you've noticed anything else or which one of these you like the most. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates. See you in the next video.